We know a lot about this universe, the sun, moons, stars, planets, exoplanets, and numerous other objects lurking in space. However, what we see and what we know today only makes up to 4% of this universe. This small percentage is enough to know how vast and massive this universe could be. In this massive universe, there are many things that we might not know, but one thing is for sure. There is something that is destroying everything in its path, from dust to stars. Astronomers are still working to know the reason behind this destructive invisible force. And should we be worried about ever being destroyed into bits by that thing? Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the mysterious object with unimaginable destructive abilities. To us, the Sun is an extremely large object, and there are things that are way bigger, and our Sun might seem like a tiny grain compared to it. We know how hard it would be for a force to destroy the Sun, and even harder to destroy other stars and objects bigger than the Sun. However, Astronomers have found something that can destroy everything in its path, whether it's gas, dust, or stars. What would be the force or object that has the capability to destroy everything in its path? Scientists observed the giant stars and other objects vanish from space without a trace. They knew something exists out there that is so powerful that it can destroy a whole star an object that is invisible or as dark as the space itself that cannot be detected. They termed it black hole, one of the strangest and most fascinating objects in outer space. So what are these black holes and how long have we known about them? Black holes are extremely dense objects with such strong gravitational attraction that even light cannot escape their grasp if it comes near enough. Albert Einstein was the one who first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. Many years later, in 1967, American astronomer John Wheeler coined the term black hole. After decades of only knowing black holes as theoretical things, the first real black hole was discovered in 1971. Einstein's theory of general relativity showed that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small, dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than about three times the mass of the Sun, the equation showed the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. So, the leftovers of a massive star that dies in a supernova explosion are the source of the majority of black holes. If the entire mass of the star is high enough, approximately three times the mass of the Sun, it is theoretically possible to demonstrate that no force can prevent the star from collapsing under the effect of gravity. Astronomers have identified three types of black holes, stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. Of the three, supermassive black holes are millions of times the Sun's mass and form over hundreds of millions of years by both feeding on material around them and by merging with other black holes. Black holes contain a large amount of matter compacted into a small area. You can think of it as a star 10 times more massive than the Sun squeezed into a sphere approximately the diameter of New York City. Because the matter in a black hole is so dense, the force of gravity within the black hole becomes immensely strong, attracting everything within a certain radius and not even allowing light to escape. Now, if these black holes are so massive and have a great impact on space, why can we not detect them or why are they just called black holes? A black hole cannot be seen because immense gravity draws all the light into the black hole's center. However, Astronomers can observe how the black hole's enormous gravity affects the stars and gas in its vicinity. Scientists may analyze stars to see if they are circling or traveling around a black hole. 
When a black hole and a star collide, high energy light is produced. This kind of light is not visible to the human eye. To observe the high energy light, scientists employ satellites and telescopes in orbit. Despite the lack of insight of the inner workings of a black hole, scientists know that they exist. According to NASA, the first evidence came in the shape of Cygnus X1, a powerful source of X-rays roughly 6,000 light years distant. Observations of that system showed a compact, dense, dark companion, a black hole, funneling off and orbiting companion's atmosphere. The black hole itself cannot be seen by astronomers, but as the gas descends into its density, it warms up and produces energy in the form of X-rays. NASA is learning more about black holes by sending satellites and telescopes into orbit. These spacecraft assist scientists in finding answers to puzzles about the cosmos. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT discovered the black hole in the heart of the galaxy M87 while studying the event horizon, or the region beyond which nothing can escape from the black hole. The graphic depicts the abrupt loss of photons, or particles of light. Now that scientists know what a black hole looks like, it's opened up a whole new avenue of research in black holes. According to the best estimates of astronomers, there should be as many as 10 million to 1 billion stellar mass black holes out there, drifting peacefully and quietly through the galaxy. Recently, with the help of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, scientists have detected an isolated stellar mass black hole around 5,150 light years distance from Earth in the direction of the bulge in the heart of the Milky Way galaxy. This detection comes at the culmination of a six-year observational study in which dozens of authors collaborated on a newly published research. Those six years of meticulous data collection began in 2011, when a star around 20,000 light years distant abruptly brightened. Scientists were seeking for such an occurrence and had identified several previously, but needed additional data to be certain of what they were seeing. The massive black hole made itself known when it passed in front of a background star, bending the light with its extreme gravity. The researchers were also able to determine the distance of the black hole from Earth, and it is traveling at around 45 kilometers or 28 miles per second. This implies that it was most likely kicked by the supernova that gave birth to it, starting it on its lonely voyage through the cosmos. According to the study's researchers, this is the first unambiguous finding of an isolated black hole. This black hole is just almost 5,000 light years away from us. So, is there any possibility that it might enter our solar system at some point and destroy us? NASA explains that black holes do not roam the universe eating stars, moons, and planets. Earth will not fall into a black hole since there are no black holes close enough to the solar system for this to happen. Even if a black hole with the same mass as our sun were to replace the sun, Earth would not fall into it. The gravity of the black hole would be the same as that of our sun. The Earth and the other planets would orbit the black hole in the same way that they currently orbit the sun. Even though we are not likely to become the meal for a black hole, what actually happens when it comes in contact with something? Black holes are anything but empty space, within which masses of matter are crushed down to an endlessly tiny point. The singularity's gravitational force would inevitably drag any mass toward it. So, when matter falls into or comes closer to a black hole's event horizon, it becomes isolated from the rest of space-time it will never be able to exit that location. That matter has, for all practical purposes, vanished from the cosmos. Matter will be ripped apart into its tiniest subatomic components, once within the black hole's event horizon, and finally compressed into the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole 
grows in proportion to the amount of mass accumulated by the singularity. Physicists are baffled as to what happens at the singularity. It's such an intense environment that all of our present physics understanding fails. There is also an interesting thing that happens to the objects falling into the black hole, including humans, even if somehow they got a chance to get closer to the black hole. Near a black hole, the gravitational forces are so strong that objects or humans would be stretched head to toe into a long, thin strand of particles before even reaching the event horizon. This terrible fate is quaintly called spaghettification. Recently, astronomers were able to see the weird process happening to a star. In a study published in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society last year on March 24th, a team of astronomers from the Netherlands Institute for Space Research, or SRON, and Radboud University in the Netherlands successfully detected such a spaghettified star in spectral absorption lines around the poles of a distant black hole. The observation suggested that there was a thread of material wrapped around the black hole numerous times, similar to a yarn ball. The team believes that this debris is a shattered star that is orbiting the black hole before collapsing within it. While everyone assumed that matter in a black hole vanished forever, Stephen Hawking predicted in 1974 that black holes may radiate energy out, known as Hawking radiation. Explained in a research paper, the authors said that as a result, a black hole may release some of what it has absorbed, although it does so extremely slowly. Theoretically, a black hole may evaporate over time due to energy output. However, the time required for even a tiny black hole to evaporate is beyond human comprehension. On the scale of one with 67 zeros of years, understanding these unusual events will need much effort. But for the time being, that is where our understanding of physics has led us. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. So many black holes in space, yet there are still a mystery and not much is known about them. With different missions that are in space or are planned to be sent, we might be able to know more about these gigantic objects. What are your views on black holes? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.